Okay, C. Lindelof videos. Finding the missing value as a percent change would look something like this. So you're told that your first number, A, is equal to 120, and that your second number, B, is 25% is more than that. So how much is B? So find B. Find B. There's tons of ways to do this. To fit it into this formula that I think a lot of high school teachers are, are liking to see, I would just set it up like this. Remember, percent change is, is original minus new over original. So I would set it up like that. Okay, the original, this is more, so it's an increase. So I'm, gonna, I'm always going to do this. I'm always going to mark down what it is, so I know this is an increase. After that, when I do new and original, I'm going to take that out of my mind for a second and just say which one is bigger. So B is bigger because it's more, right? So I'm going to say B minus 120. I'm going to set it up just like this over original, right? And it's 25%, so is is the same as 25 over 100, right? 25 over 100. So this is how your teacher wants it set up. I get there's somebody out there talking in my ear and I can hear you. That's not how I do it. There's an easier way. I know there's an easier way. If you're forced into using this formula, this is how I would do that. Uh, and I'm, I, I can hear you saying it because this, this is not the way I would do it either, but this is the way that sometimes they want to see it. So you cross multiply, you get 100 times this, which is 100B minus 12, was it 12,000, 12, right? is equal, remember that the original was 120. So you get 120 times 25. 120 times 25 is 3,000. Right, I'm gonna keep doing math here. I'm gonna add, I'm trying to get B by itself, so I'm gonna get 100B. I'm gonna add 12,000 to both sides. Is equal to 15,000. Divide both sides by 100, so I get B is equal to 15,000 over 100. I'm going to annex these zeros. They just cancel out, don't they? And I'm going to get that B is equal to 150. Please give me your questions and comments. Tell me how you would do this easier. There is a much easier way. However, I'm hearing from these uh, students that their teacher wants to see it in this form. So because it's in this form, I'm just trying to show you this is it. The one thing I would tell you if you're listening about this form is that I would always put the bigger number first, bigger number minus the smaller number, and then make a note to myself, is, is it the thing increasing or decreasing, and note that at the end. So I hope this was really helpful. If you have questions or comments, let me know. And if you haven't already subscribed, please.